you know what? Met through the most lovely coffee morning. Actually. Was it nice? Yeah, it was so lovely, and we raised quite a lot of money. And then I spoke to did Jay. You? Yeah, I was going to say it. Did you bump into Jay? I what? did, and I had Melissa and Harry ringing in my ears as I went in. <laughs> it's just one of those things. It just goes round and round. But I suppose it finished basically with look. I'm glad we're talking, but it's not going to go any further than that, mate. And I'm going to go find Zara. He That's needs to, yeah, he needs to respect that. Then yeah. he, he needs to respect how you feel about the, the whole situation, and respect that you no longer value or want that friendship. But in that conversation the other day, I think you handled yourself well. You didn't get irate. You let him speak. You said your piece. You kind of like walk away and move on. He's not a friend. Like. There's a difference. There's a complete yeah. difference. He's a There's good a time complete person. difference. Yeah. Well, he doesn't think we're mates. <laughs> well, exactly. Well, that just shows, <laughs> like, yeah, him yeah. as a whole, doesn't it? I feel that when I'm saying no, and I'm like, I still remember the way it made me feel and the humiliation yeah. and all that stuff, I then, when he goes, oh, it's been, it's been five months, I then feel like, oh, shit, am I being bitter? But that's what I'm he's like, trying no. to make you... That's how he's trying oh, to make you feel. He's trying to belittle how you feel to make you forgive him. Do you not see that? Sam, it's clever. you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. If you want to be friends with him, be friends with him. If you don't, you don't. Yeah. Stop being pressurised by him. Just tell him to piss off. Just be like, really sorry, I'm happy to be polite to you. Stop harassing me and, like, <laughs> is putting me under pressure to be friends with you again. It's very true. Just Jay, get on with your life. Stop. We, we don't want you to stop worrying about fucking yeah. Jamie Lang. We've been saying that. Jay only wants you to forgive him for his own sake. He wants, it, he wants you to forgive him so he feels better about himself. That's Agreed, it. Agreed. End of. When Sophie and Jamie broke up because he fucked up, she was like, oh, he's not going to stop trying. And I was like, that doesn't mean you have to say yes yeah. just because he's not going to stop. Oh, my God, I'm Sophia Boo. <laughs> <laughs> oh. On the face of it, everyone sees Jamie as this really nice, like, energetic, charismatic, like, good guy. Which I do but think deep he down, is, but, like, his actions But deep down, he's nice. not. He isn't. He comes across as good bloke, but he isn't. Um... I've heard you've been saying things behind my back, so I thought it'd be a good opportunity for you to just say it to me rather than saying it to other people. Fair enough. I mean, it's not... I mean, I don't think it's news to you. I think what you've done and the way that you've treated Sam isn't right, and I think that wait, the only reason... So no, no, wait, wait, let me finish. No, let's stop that. First, let's I think the only reason why um, you want, like, Sam's friendship back or you want him to forgive you is only for your own benefit because but, it'll make you feel better about but yourself. But why do you think that? But that's just you, dude. Like, you don't know me. <laughs> What I don't understand is that you and Melissa at the beginning encouraged Sophie and I to do what we were doing. You encouraged it. Yeah, and because then as we, soon we believed as then, well, let your me talk bullshit, you dude. Like... And then as soon as you're with Sam, you, you change your opinion straight away. And that's what I don't understand. If you, at the beginning, said straight away from the beginning, this is a bad idea. Well, I didn't change my opinion, dude. You I did. saw the way that you treated Sophie. You pretty much cheated on her. You no, I didn't. Another, well, you were pretty much Harry, in a relationship. Harry, it's not about, no, Harry, it's not about like, Sophie. No, Harry, we're not, talking about, we're not talking about me and Sophie. We're talking about me and Sam. Okay. I fucked up because I was a coward to Sam. I didn't tell him the truth, OK? And I admit it totally. I was an absolute arsehole about that. Yeah. So you should you should so be Harry, okay with the fact talk. that he doesn't want to be friends with you. Harry, God, anymore, right? you just talk. Going, you can talk as soon as I finish because there's no point otherwise. I wasn't trying for my own ego to make friends with him. Sam has been my friend for ten years. One of my best friends. If Sam wanted to be friends with you, I'd be like, fine, be friends with Jay. You should. Well, you should have an own voice. So what do you think? What do you think? Your own opinion. Well, Forget think, about what Sam I thinks. I think you're a bit of a cock, mate. Why? To be honest. Because of everything that you've done, what, not just to it? Sam, pretty much every single friend that you've had over the years, you've fucked over along the way. No, I you have. And, and girls Who? as well. Who? You've fucked over every girl that you've Harry, been with. Harry, you fucked over every girl that you ever... You have no respect from anyone. Yeah. You have no... You live off your girlfriend. You have no respect. Wow. Do You're saying that, that I live off my girlfriend? Yes, you do. Harry, well you, done, you know dude. how fragile... I'm happy in a relationship You know how fragile you are as a person. You know how weak you are as an individual. What I'm okay. concerned with right now is why you... And Melissa, as people, are not trying for Sam and I, who obviously had a ten year friendship oh way before God. you and I were friends. Yeah, but way it, was before. A shit, it was a shit friendship. You we treated there. each other like shit. Harry. I saw from afar. Harry. I saw that the way that you treated Harry, each other. You, it wasn't Harry, right. Sam and I That's friends. not a true friendship. You want him to be friends with you so you can feel better about yourself, so you can be the good guy. Uh, no, I'm You're never... not the good guy, Jay. Harry, You're not. I'm not. I know I'm not the good guy. I've never been the good guy in well, this then situation. Well, just accept the fact that Sam wants to move on and doesn't want you in, in, in his life as a friend. Why won't you accept that? Okay, the other day we were talking about this. Okay, why won't you accept that. Because I don't think that's right. I think Sam. Why do you think that's right? Because Sam and I. Had a... You don't think it's right for you? No, I think it's right for Sam. No, I think Sam. It is, I... mate. It is right for Sam. I think. And accept uh, that. I think Sam you and I... that, you just ask me a question. Because right? you can move on from it. Shall I? Because I'm fed up with shall... talking about it. Shall I? Because it's fucking BS, Harry, mate. Shall I? Shall I? Anyway, I've said I... my piece, dude. And, but... yeah. God, Cheers, mate. Oh God, Harry, you're such. A... Jay, I've Harry. got nothing else to say to you. What is going on?
Well, no, I normally would never speak about this. I just feel like there's probably an elephant in the room. I know normally wouldn't even address it. Like, I'd just leave it and hope that it, like, disappears. Because I had no idea. So I'm hearing this and I'm like, what the hell? But you're hearing what? That you guys hate Jamie. I didn't even know you guys had a problem. I'd, I, for me, like, there, there wasn't... There wasn't a problem as such. I was voicing how Sam felt. Yeah, he has been an idiot. But wait, why didn't you think he was an idiot when me and him were getting because together? Because that was before so I thought did, he changed. But we had to, like, support you. Verity said that you guys in Istanbul all sat around one night when you were drunk, literally just slating him, and it was so bad I... that in the morning no, no, you guys were even no, like, no, we were... James that's... was talking about... I oh, know, no, it was Rosie he was talking about how it's baffling how he got away with it. He'll constantly look like fuck people over time after time, but Still there won't ever good. be any, any consequences. He won't ever like He'll look bad look as such. So you do really happening. strongly dislike him? No, I don't what strongly do dislike think, him. Like, I think what he's, what he's done isn't right, is that, and it's not why nice. Is that right? He's obviously pissed you off in the past, and you've never said anything for I've whatever said it reasons. So many times and now, you. now there's a bunch of yeah, you who dislike no, him. Like, you've got the confidence to no, say it. That's what you're saying. Oh my god, we had one fucking conversation. Okay, but anyway, look. Can I just speak for five seconds? Things that was happened a year ago are being brought up now, which is the concept of Wolfpack behaviour. It wasn't like we were all going up being like, oh, yeah, let's fucking get Jamie. It wasn't like that at all. Look, I know that you want us to really like Jamie and for us all to, like, get on really well, and, like, that would be lovely, but at the end of the day, nothing's changed since you first got back with him. I just hope that he really, really has genuinely learned this time and he's not going to fuck up again in the future, because it isn't right.